Good evening, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, and the good-looking, talented, awesome, brilliant, marvelous, need I go on, class of 2012. Growing up, my parents always reminded me to be thankful for all God's blessed me with, especially for the people who care for and support me in all I do. It was this idea that propelled me to simply dedicate this speech to recognize two special groups of people. Someone once said, there are three good reasons to be a teacher, June, July, and August. Now, as much as this may be true, I still believe teachers teach because they want to impact their students. And for that, teachers deserve a lot more thanks than they're given. In fact, I've even come up with a word for what they deserve, a teachiation, the, the appreciation of a teacher. Classmates, sure they may give you a bad grade or may bore you to sleep, but the truth is teachers try to do their best. They want you to look forward to attending their classes. And as far as I know, each one of them has the desire in their heart to help you succeed. Besides, without teachers, life would have no class. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> so funny, again. Nico and his they don't run into burning buildings, nor do they arrest criminals. But teachers are heroes in their own meaningful ways. And there are several of these heroes who I've been fortunate enough to meet these past four years. These include Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, Mr. Bayuso, Mr. Kenyon, Mr. Benoit, Mr. Souza, Ms. Nelson, Mr. Green, Mr. Sepulveda. I'm truly grateful for the opportunities I've had to be your student, and I hope I've made you proud as teachers. I'd also like to recognize all the parents and guardians here tonight, with a special dedication to my own mom and dad. I love you both, and I'll never be able to fully express my gratitude for all you two do. Graduates, as much as we enjoy our individuality, we must still thank our parents for all the sacrifices they make for us. It may not seem so at times, but no matter what, your parents always love you, they always want the best for you, and if sometimes they're tough on you, it's because they're preparing you for a world that will be tough on you. So before we all depart from Vanden and continue our own lives, I encourage you to take my words and put action behind them. Take some time tonight, find those few special teachers you've had throughout high school, and give them some appreciation. And then of course, let your parents know how much you love and appreciate them. This class is truly an amazing class with the potential to not just be leaders of society, but changers of the world. And I'm honored to be a part of it. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors and congratulations class of 2020. <laughs> It's my honor to introduce the next valedictorian, Ms. Antoinette Redford.